Hey friends, welcome back to Iron Maiden. So I have a fun story for you. I just recorded an entire episode, so I've done all of this before. But once I was done recording, I realized that my microphone was muted for some dumb reason. That's a rookie, rookie, rookie mistake, and we've been doing this for nigh on three years. Actually, cancel that. It's not nigh on three years. At the time of recording this, this is actually our three year anniversary. Yes, as I'm recording this, on the very same day, three years ago, I asked Lars and Christian if they wanted to make gameplays videos with me. And then we kind of just did. And you can look back to our first, very first video, which was the uh, very first Sunday brunch for another world. That was classic. Classic Lowbright Gaming. So, uh, gotta recap some things that I said in an earlier video. Or my previous recording session, I should say. Come on. Uh, first of all, I've gotten a lot more comfortable with the shooting mechanics and controls in general. Uh, though I have also noticed that this game is not... I mean, it might just be the way it's supposed to look, but it feels like I'm getting a lot of FPS drops at certain areas. Uh, there's a secret here. Oh, there it is. Book. And this will introduce this new guy as a new type of enemy. But I also found out the... Um, there's no inventory system like in Duke Nukem 3D in this one. All you have is your med pack, so you can safely rebind that to something... Something more fitting to you. I rebinded it to uh, F. You have the auto map feature, of course. This is a build engine game. So you could conceivably play this entire game like this. Although, why would you? But I should have better access to, uh, to my healing materials now. Alright. No secrets in there. Here's the red key. Oh, yeah. And there's a little lag spike. There's gonna be some dudes. Uh, let's see if we can blow them up. There you go. Where that grenade landed, I don't know. I don't even know if it blew up. Oh, well, it did. Oh, there it is. Oh, well. Bowling bomb. That's what it's called. Okay. Right, so, now that we have the red key... Uh, gotta find the red key door. It should be over here. Or a bit further beyond. Yeah, inside here. There we go. Oh. Clickety-clack. And get on in inside there that's where we need to go all right let's get some different types of firepower going actually let's get some bowling bombs going tree key you should let me inside the basement there's one guy dead and that's him dead come on roll on him no Damn it. Yeah, it's definitely lagging a bit. I'm sorry about that. There's not much I can do. I have I did spend a good long while trying to optimize it. Can't figure out how to make it any better, though. All right. We need to get down again. So we need to find a lift. There should be a lift that takes us down. So I know where the I know where the yellow key door is. Shock! Oh shit! This shotgun is just awesome. I love it. Oh, bowling bomb for you. Yeah, this homie. It's just not always oh, working with me. <laughs> she says funny things when she kills people. <laughs> I gotta be fair though. Uh, 
I had heard some bad things going into this game about this particular character, which is actually not too bad. Though, I did ask for some uh, for some feedback from people who are actually familiar with this character. If you have played Bombshell and you, per chance, by chance, have played this game, or are watching this video, I should say, I'd like to hear what she's all about. What's the deal with that Bombshell game? And What's the story of that universe? Because maybe, I don't know if they're connected or anything, but, you know, you never know. All right, here we go. I'm missing 19 secrets in this area. I have checked. I don't know where to find any particular ones, so we're just gonna head on down. And uh, probably not gonna find any anyway, so... Just have to live with that. Oh man. While we're waiting for this elevator, I am sitting with a blanket over my hands, because while setting up for recording today... I so figured... The express elevator to hell. Yeah, express elevator to hell. I realized that my mouse was making a lot of clicking noises, and I also realized that I haven't actually recorded any uh, any PC games uh, without using a controller in like well over a year. Uh, maybe done some streams, but not much beyond that. Uh, this is a secret, and that's a secret sound. <laughs> I wonder if we're supposed to be able to open closets like that, because it, it's making the trying to open sound, so maybe. Uh, moving along. I guess it just recognizes some elements as a door type element. Ouch! Ouch! Screw you, man! Yeah, I'm really enjoying this game so far. I think it's, uh... Oh man, I had a whole... I had an entire story about those spider guys. I guess I'll retell it. <laughs> uh, if, you, if you're familiar with a guy... Uh, well, of course you are. You're watching videos on the internet. Of course you know who Jim Sterling is. And he's had a couple of videos where he has talked about uh, the Unity engine. Uh, it's a graphics engine which you can make games in for free if you want, but if you use the free version um, and your game has to have the uh, opening splash screen, say uh, one of the opening splash screens needs to be a uh, made with Unity engine. Uh, and Jim Sterling has a thing where he uh, bemoans the fact that um, the Unity engine has a very bad reputation. Because a lot of crap games have been made with it. Um, which is true. It's very true. I've played some crap games in Unity myself. So I know... I know all about that. Opening that. And then we gotta get out. Oh, there's a goodie. Free goodies. Always good. Um, but yeah, uh, one particular thing that's been very overused uh, in games made with the Unity engine is a... Um, uh, it's an asset that you can buy. An asset, I should say. An asset you can buy in their in uh, in their uh, in engine asset store because they have you can buy pre built assets to use in your games and whatnot, which is fine. I'm not going to comment on that. It's fine to use pre built assets. Do what do what does you. What works for you. Just do it proper. That's my idea. But still, uh, there's an asset there called Horrid Spider, which is just a spider with a a human head. For a butt or on its butt or something like that or it's roosting in the human head or something and uh, <laughs> a lot of people apparently just buys that that asset and just uses uses it wholesale and i think these spiders maybe not maybe it's just a generic design that's very popular as something horrifying but i feel like these spiders they look a lot like uh, like the horrid spider from the unity engine as a sort that's it. Very interesting that they have that here. Come on. They are pretty annoying to uh, to work with. But I am using all time, so... Not that bad. That button brings down this ladder. And then we get a loading screen. Subway maintenance area right around the corner. Right around the corner. Uh... 
Oh, there we go. GDF. I've gotten a new armor piece too, and if you see, uh, notice that uh, Bombshell's uh, Bombshell's portrait has changed to another color as well. I mean, the new armor piece is red on the uh, collar area, and uh, that change is rep uh, reflected in her uh, uh, in her model as well. It seems. I think that's a nice little touch. Wonder if it'll stay if I lose all my armor. Because if I that would mean that she actually actually changed her clothes as well as putting on the new armor. Which is interesting. <laughs> I don't think I would change my clothes if I was in this situation, but then again, I probably wouldn't be in this situation. Because I'm a pussy. Alright. Oh. Maybe shouldn't have wasted ammo on that. Is there secrets? No. No secrets. Looking for secrets in this game, these these types of games can be a uh, a long effort, so to speak. Level designers, and uh, especially in the 90s era, they were very good at hiding their secrets. In there. It's usually hidden behind very odd bush doors. And then there's the... Uh, there, there's the uh, the extremely super secret where you get like an entire different level and whatnot. So, how about some action? How about some action? Sure. Let's go in here first. Um. All right, so vent. Into the vent. Don't expect any stealthing sections in this game. If you haven't been. Uh, I found Dick's secret stash. I don't know who Dick is. Is this is Dick? He's dead now, though. Oh yeah. Also, I want to take a look at this. Just look at his model. <laughs> He's pretty dead. I think that's his spine on the back there. It's um. Uh... You're not. You're not getting much more dead than that. Oh, this is where we came from. Sorry. Uh, I like that they made this gun actually useful for a good solid chunk. I know that a lot of uh, 90s style shooters are praised for their uh, uh, their gun variety and keep allowing their guns to be uh, mostly useful all throughout the game, um, but I personally feel like there's um, your your starting gun in any of these uh, types of game games are it's usually not going to stay useful for very long. At least that's what I feel, especially in Doom. The first gun in Doom is just not. There's no point to it. But in this one it feels very useful. It might just be, but it feels useful while not actually being useful, but eh, who cares. The biggest takeaway from this game is that the, the shooting is actually it's punchy and fun. There's a turret. Stop. Oh, come on. There we go. Let's get some grenades out. <laughs> Over here, indeed. I think these guys might be robots. Cause they have robot arms and whatnot. Oh, these guys are kicking heads all over the place. Uh, oh, having robot arms won't help you against Bombshell. Can't do anything with that. And another leg spike. That's very annoying. It's probably going to be a lot better when it's released. Also, my uh, my computer nowadays isn't actually that powerful anymore. It's kind of falling a bit behind. Uh. Oh, let's uh, try to conserve ammo a bit. 
That's not how you conserve ammo. The good is in here. Oh, nothing. That's fine. Alright, so this is the player spot I was at when I realized that uh, I didn't actually record my voice. It was a real bummer. It never feels good having to redo episodes. Oh, there's a thing too. They may look two dimensional, but they're not. Boom, 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 boom. And Bombshell must be super, super, super strong if she can just hold back. Because this is like the Clint Eastwood type revolver. Yeah. Of course, 3D realms would have a guy on the shitter. What's this? Who wants some wang? Hi, Shadow Warrior. Mike Monster, salt and fat, 10k calories for the true American. <laughs> That's uh oh yeah this one too is pretty cool. I mean you could probably tell what this is. <laughs> we were cool when Coke was cheap. Mm-hmm. That sounds possible. Doesn't it? I would say it does. Man, we are pretty stocked up on shit right now. I'm wondering if headshots actually help. I feel like they do more damage, but I'm not entirely sure. Also, you can get armor, um, armor, uh... Oh, yeah, check this out. Eh? Uh, they actually did that thing again. This all feels very familiar, which is the point, I guess. But still, it's nice that they actually managed to keep that feeling with a new game. Thank you, sir. I need some of your armor. Maybe it's actually just a grenade that's blowing up. Oh well. One last place to check out before we call it for today. Or for now, at least. Uh, is this the right... Is this where we're supposed to be going? Oh, wrong weapon. Say... You know what? I think this is actually where we're supposed to be going. Hmm. Let's check this place out first. Oh. We're getting a loading screen here. And this place is falling apart. You know what? Let's check out the sewers first. Falling damage. I don't know what you're gonna find here. This could just be a secret or just an alternate route to the same spot. But we'll find out. Oh. Oh, it leads back here. Oh, okay. Well then. That was a waste of time. <laughs> uh, right. Back into the uh, collapsing hallway then. What the hell is going on up there? What the hell is going on up there? Alright. Oh, I guess it's time to bring out the big guns. Man, it's almost as if the, the gun is actually better than a shotgun. The shotgun can stand to uh, get a bit buffed, get some more damage. It's uh, a bit short on damage, I would say. Let's see, where we go? Uh, is this gonna be a dead? Oh, another collar. Medium armor. Now my color is changed again. Okay, can't get on the other side there. For now. Yeah, this gun definitely needs a buff. 
it shouldn't be doing that little damage, especially compared to the uh, compared to the gun. Whoa! Let's try to shock this. See what happens. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> oh wow! Let's kill that guy on the other side here now. There's actually more of them. Fuck you! Stop with your talking. You know, I think I think they actually have a way to measure headshots in this game. Because it does seem like you're doing more damage when you shoot them in the head. Shells, but, oh. What, is this supposed to be a challenge? Come on, I'm not afraid of you guys. Here, have some bombs. Ha. Move out indeed. Yeah, this gun really needs an uh needs a buff. I'll stop harping on that now. Come on. Screw ya. Shot you right in the face. Pretty seamless level transitions too. Never actually feeling I mean you're seeing the loading screens like this. But in, uh... What the? Oh. What's going on? Oh, is the... Alien thing is gonna happen now. What the hell is going on? Yeah, in the old games you would have a uh, very strict cyber outlaw. Coming soon, May 1995. This is even set back in the day. Um... You would have like an exit screen with a score tally and all stuff like that. Alright, so this is the end. Whoa! DC might be done for, but I'm not. Uh-huh. Fits like a glove. Fits like a glove. That's quite a lot of upgrades. Is this uh Hmm. This is a preview campaign, so probably it's uh, designed to uh, set the mood for the actual game. I'm actually looking forward to the uh, looking forward to the full game now. Weapon selection is cool too. It seems I'm liking these guns. Kaboom! That's pretty wasteful. Let's uh, stick to old faithful lover boy. Right, there we go. Oh, more of them. So many of you are there. Oh, this is this. Uh, this is this. Uh, this has a. Oh, uh, is that a boss? I'm gonna kick oh yeah. Shiny metal ass. Definitely a boss. Oh. Not really shooting at me though. <laughs> All right, that's interesting. I can just stand behind here and shoot him. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. Even his model changes, that's pretty impressive considering the age of this engine. Come on, it's almost dead. This gun is really weak. Boom. Gotcha. Bring it on. Oh thank god. 
This is nice. Zone complete. I guess it does have levels uh, level ends. Oh, call me call me a dumb guy then. But real players aim for 100%. Are oh, you a real player? <laughs> There's more. Wow, 261 enemies on the level. 44 minutes. <laughs> Good job, eh? Ooh. Just a taste of the real deal. So, that's the preview campaign then. <laughs> I guess this is just going to be a two-parter with a couple of long, epi uh, long episodes then. So, so yeah, that's Iron Maiden. Looking, really looking forward to it. Uh, mad props for uh, to the 3D realms for actually embracing some old tech and bringing us a bit more over-the-top action. I like it a lot, and you should like it too. If you think this looks good, uh, it's available on Steam. Probably on GOG 2, I'm not sure. Maybe maybe just Steam, considering early access and whatnot. Uh, no noticeable bugs or anything, if you're worried about that sort of deal. I am too, normally, obviously. It's early access, of course I would be. Um, but that's what you're, uh, that, that's what that's what this game has to offer. So, if you like, this, uh, like these videos, feel free to leave a like. Maybe leave a comment, share your own experiences if you've tried it yourself, or, you know, if you just want to talk old shooter games with me, I'll be, uh, I'll be around in the comments, you know, stuff like that. Okay, let's stop now. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you around, folks.